We all understand the domino effect, where a single event causes a chain reaction of similar events. The most famous example being, of course, dominoes. But what if a domino could tip over more than its own weight? And what if each subsequent domino got bigger and heavier? Could you get to epic proportions with that domino effect? That is our question. Can pushing over a single humble domino set off a chain reaction of bigger and bigger dominoes until you could crush a car? That's what we're going to try and answer, and I have faith in this guy. I have named him Dominic. Weighing in at a whopping 7,016 pounds at a height of 14.42 feet is Domino number 12. I don't really feel like one of those announcers so much as a, uh, a kid running out of breath, screaming for his dear life. Next up, at 2,081 pounds, is number 11. Sound like a large drum. Domino number 11 is going up. To make weight, he's on a pre-fight diet of concrete. Well, all of our heavy steel dominoes, the latter half of the sequence, are in place. It only took a couple of forklifts, about 12 people, and twice as much time as we were hoping to spend on it. Lucky number 11. Now it's time for Team Domino to come out and set up the front half of the ring. Remember, they had great results with this in the shop, but the entire sequence has never been tested. It is still just a theoretical exercise until Cannon tips over Dominic. That's when we find out if this works. With the final prep in progress, cue the unfortunate crushy. Check out our new car. Her name is Carlotta Parkalot. I'm definitely looking forward to crushing my first car, since I haven't even driven one yet. All right, looks good. All right, let's crush the car. First up, Adam clues in Cannon on a key myth-busting skill, shouting. I need you to call it out. And it's like this. This is Domino Car Crusher in three, two, one. And then boink. OK. Can you give me, can you, let me hear it. Let me hear the voice. This is Domino Car Crusher in three, two, one, boink. Beautiful. With the countdown rehearsal down pat, the setup is complete. Every single contact has to be perfect. Next one. Straighten it up. There we go. The spacing and alignment is double. OK, so, oh. Uh, well, we know that five, six, and seven are working great. Definitely. And then triple checked. This is a one in a hundred shot, and they have to get it right first time. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. I was really nervous that eight and nine and maybe even 10 would fall over. If they had fallen before we were ready, that would have been really bad. OK. Oh. Ooh. We're in the zone. We're ready to do this. All, right. All safeties are off. I'm putting your hearing protection on, all right? Thank you. You're welcome. You ready? Ready. Call it in, sir. Car crush test by Domino. In three, two, one. I found a tool. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! That is crazy. Yeah! Oh my God! That is joy. Oh my God! You guys. That was unbelievable. I cannot oh believe God. how well that worked. Come on! Up until that recalcitrant last domino. And you crushed the car. Considering the sensitivity of the chain reaction, and despite the final domino requiring a hint of persuasion, in essence, it worked. 
With no chance to reset and try again, the team will have to call it based on this test alone. This, um, this feeling, the calm after the storm, it's an old familiar feeling for me and it's particularly delightful to be able to facilitate it for a new generation. Dudes, look at what you have wrought. I'd say the last domino has a big crush on this car. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pity laugh from Cannon. <laughs> so how do you guys want to call this myth? OK, you guys removed so many tiny, tiny variables from every single setup. To get it right, I'm going to say it's plausible. Plausible it is. All right. Well done, Mythbusters. <laughs>